This meeting is being recorded. Okay, it's Sunday, October the 30th, 2022, and it's 9.02 a.m. in Greece. So that makes it 8 p.m., or oh, two minutes past 8 p.m. in New Zealand. It's a Confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand and World Flag, uh, Native Court, the Native King Bench Court here. Over to you then, John. Okay, thank you. Thank you, people just uh, cropped in now and people who are watching. And uh, it's been a short notice to, to have a, a hearing on tonight. The hearing is just not going to be long. And it's just a cover over of the past hearings when we roll over the pages again of those same names that are on trial in the government and the trustees. And um, because they are appearing again in every court hearing and the book has just got thicker and it's pulling the bats. So everything in the 424 pages has got the police in it, it's got the military in it, and it's got the trustees, the government, the governor general, and uh, Jacinda Ardern, all complicit now in fraud that they haven't answered to in 27 weeks. This will be the 28th, is it, Andy? 28th. This is the 28th. Is number 28? Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. This, this uh, 28 video, 28 video affidavits, one affidavit equals one video of everything and it dropped on the head and 20, 28 books like this, which is the written um, legal um, affidavit, one equals everything and equals one. That's how they, they um, um, determine what is an affidavit, it's everything that's contained and bound up and not separated into many, many video affidavits. So that's everything we swear is true. Um, lips moving and uh, live people on, uh, on the court hearing to witness this and people watching around the world. And uh, uh, what we say is true. And it's up to anybody to come in the, to the court at any stage or let us know they want to come on with better information or or, or information that supersedes a King's Bench Court information of law, jurisdiction of that, that flag, the 1834, 20th of March. I had to get that date right. It's the 20th of March, 1834, when that flag became the official um, sovereign nation state flag of Britain, UK, fixed institute law and cannot be changed or any queens and kings and everything after that cannot rip it away from that contract with us the native not even the pope because the pope is on his own um rome soil and this is jurisdiction is on english soil or british as it's a british flag that covers uh, scotland ireland wales and england um, jurisdiction that uh, that we are claiming uh, in the native court for all the native countries in the world where the Queen Victoria took it and usurped its power of 20 illegal instruments inside that flag built in and entrenched into law. So we're using the law of that flag, the Municipal Corporations Act, 1835, because he's still a king right up to 1837. But when the government of New Zealand started using it in 1835, when they made their contract from that Declaration of Independence, they just, just went past 28th, and that applies to their 1840 treaty, which was another founding document of New Zealand contract in the Queen Victoria side, but they legislated this flag out so that you couldn't use the native title uh, to Britain. And then they legislated the, 18, um, um, the 1902 flag in so that you had, you, they had their own little crown, um, own, own way of running business. And they used the law and then ripped it apart and then um, 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 and then they made um, legislation instead of law. So they are really, the government here is a lawless government and they only have legislation 
1986 constitution that's not entrenched like this flag. And then they have, uh, they have um, um, no Bill of Rights soon. They're going to legislate all that out and the inconsistencies declaration uh, of inconsistencies amendment bill. They haven't passed a third reading yet. So that will rid you of your human rights and Bill of Rights. And uh, but they we we snap them now with this flag. Now that we've put them on notice that it's highly illegal for them to usurp this flag when it's got no legislation or law in it. It's it's no no law. Not even the Fakaputana has no law appl applicable to that flag. And um, so we put the legislation back into it in over 27. Uh, weeks and also all the other um, meetings and hui we've had at native magistrate courts on marae in Rio, including the proclamation that I read out with Kingi Todo signing it on behalf of the um, um, armed forces and also as a chief of Ngāpui, he signed that proclamation in 2016 for me to take it to Westminster and don't come back till I get an answer and, and <coughs> to come back to Titi Marai, but they kicked me off the Marai. Not him, but the one, the young people. And so um, I've gone over to uh, Russell to that side of the um, flag, the single flag, and uh, stuck the jurisdiction there with the native um, title of um, Okiato Native Court and also um, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court to link the two together. But we had a, we had a, a plan to have Zoom live to link our, um, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court bank, that's, that's the bank, and the Okiato uh, Native Magistrate Court in uh, Russell. But I wanted Greg, Gregory to get um, the land owner because the land is sold and you had to go and photograph for me or, or find knock on the door of the owner and get the title, get, just get, the, get his name and then I can track it back on the land information to find the original title and a certificate to switch it at the same time back to native from the freehold um, New Zealand crown title back into the British native land title at the same time as Awaroa native uh, court title uh, from the New Zealand title back, back, go backwards into the British native chief title. And that will form the rest of the uh, titles around the world where it's come out of here. It's come, come out of these native titles here. And uh, um, most of the crown's business of the queen is hidden here. The king's business is still there with the flag, and uh, the, the queen has usurped the flag here for her little crown business or big crown in, in Britain. And that, that flag locks her contract out and still there to, to take over her Queen Victoria Trust contract. And that's the part people don't realize in, in contract law that you can't touch this contract because it's fixed in statute law with King William. And he put it here because it was safe away from anybody that, um, that um, um, uh, uh, pirated between here and Britain. And we can use it anytime for our business with that black line around that, that cross and that, the little cross to keep our pirates from here in Britain, and it's a martial law flag um, amongst all the 20 instruments to uh, put their military on anybody and including recovering of debt as we have, it's a declaration of war flag on anybody who gets in the road or any threat on our business transactions or, or trading um, between here and Britain. So we've got lots of debt uh, on those people's photographs that are in there locked in this court with all those seals, those 12 seals around it <clears throat> and, the, uh, and the 20 instruments of the flag to 
Dan goes on top of the head of each single person's head, plus all the legislation acts that we've, we've gone through in three and a half hours, I think it was, Andy, for those and the proclamation and the uh, letter um, um, I read out to the um, um, Admiral of the Fleet, Baron um, um, uh, Boyce, what's his name, Michael Boyce, Lord Baron Boyce, to do something about it because he's fixed with this flag to us in the ante and um, uh, so we, we're going to send this book off after this video and um, and um, see what his response is going to be this time. So he's being put on notice as well. The British have been, the government has been put on notice. The government over here has been put on notice. So everybody in the Crown um, and Rothschild has been put on notice and the Bank of England has been put on notice and the Vatican, the Pope, all their photos are in there. And nobody's saying nothing about taking them off or doing anything because I think because the uh, Freemasons put all this title together in Awaroa, Helen's role, it's, it's probably them. I, I can't say so because I haven't got any evidence of that, but I know their documents, all the legal transfer of land from native to, to British is, is, is the Freemasons uh, survey, survey titles. And that's where the Malachi Manukau, Paramount Chief, um, put together the survey titles with his great-grandfather. And that's where I come from. My authority comes from him. And that's why we had that native court hearing where the BNZ Bank came out of the Awaroa Bank there. And that's where we're going to get kick off the, the, the Moai pound note, um, Patterson two bar pound note in Britain and get the permission from the Patterson family and the patents to use it and they get royalties from what we, um, what we recover from the debts of the one bar pound note, um, counterfeit pound note of uh, the Rothschild. So we're going to slam all these instruments on the um, um, Evelyn Rothschild and Lynn Forrester Rothschild because I've had their photos in past documents and affidavits ready for this time and pull the whole lot out and drop that on them and drop all the, drop all these laws and legislation and constitution um, 1689 uh, King William the third's constitution and his um, his um, um, what you call it Bill of Rights Act 1689 Bill of Rights. It's very powerful, those two acts to use. And then King William's, the fourth um, Municipal Corporations Act of the eight point star to pick up the rent and lease off the lands and, <clears throat> and take that all off the government here. It's, it's just about ready to, um, to do. But the only thing short now is I was, I, I was linking in uh, live with, uh, with uh, Gregory Cook the Admiral up in Waitangi, I mean, not Waitangi, in Russell, but um, he didn't tell us he was going to go up the hill with a flag. I, d I didn't know that. Otherwise, I would have put it in the documents because I've legislated not the flag in, uh, but I've legislated mm -hmm. King Ernest Augustus V as the legitimate king of uh, Britain, UK, Hanover, um, to replace Charles. So that's a big deal to to put the pressure on, on the Rothschild and the parliament and that new Muslim uh, Muslim uh, prime minister that's going to pull out the digital currency, control currency, and we're going to slam this right on top of him with the pound note, dead instrument, right over his digital currency and bankrupt the whole lot, all one hit, in, as soon as we get these two signatures from... Um, Napui, which uh, we 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 um, they, Gregory was a bit upset, so I won't talk about that um, because it didn't uh, look good, and a lot of people lost confidence in me not turning up. They were there to see me, and but I uh, already he should have conveyed to them that I was going to speak on on the Awaroa, um Native Court, and he was like learning how to run a native court. So it was a test for him to show he can run a native court and I'll be happy with him 
how he runs a native court online, where everybody can see how native courts run. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. He spent a lot of time and effort, and it was a good job of what he did with uh, the Crown and Anchor, um, and take it up on Mikey Hill and make a statement um, from the Admiral, uh, his position of running a native court, and to put uh, Ernest Augustus on the throne. It still worked out okay. It looked all right. It looks good. And I approve it. I approve of what he did. But I wished he would have told me so I can put it in the document to tell everybody it's been approved by the president of the Confederation of Chiefs. And, and, but he, um, he was very um, enthusiastic, I should say, to go and put it up there uh, because I'm busy and he's busy and, uh, and just do it, get on with it and do it. So uh, I give them full credit uh, for the Home Guard to, to use their discretion because they're Ngāpuhi and to um, do their own thing because I said to people, because I apologised to them for not being there, but my name is not on his uh, itinerary. If you have a look at the itinerary, it's not there because he, he would have put me speaking and me talking. But I knew at the time we were with Andy that we plan to put the two courts together with one. So we've already got the native title done, but the other one he's supposed to get the certificate or, or some indication so I can of, of where it is because it's hard to, without going there and taking the camera shot and then going knock on the door of the people who have bought the land and then ask them <clears throat> what's their name. And as long as I've got their name, I can track it back into the records to, to find exactly the title, the original title of that native court. So I can put the native title there at the same time as the Awaroa native court and link them up together so the jurisdiction would go to Napoli to claim the native title and the Waikato to claim the native, native title too. So we only got well, the Waikato legalized it's passed, legalized, but we haven't legalized the uh, um, the Kororareka one because I, 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 I said I'm coming on Saturday at 10 o'clock, so there was some miscommunication on uh, Greg um, that I was supposed to be there on the 20, 28th. And uh, so it didn't happen, but it's all the legal work is done. It, it's finished. So all those people who are disappointed, I apologize for that. But the, the job is complete except two signatures to match the two Waikato signatures. And that completes the legal over there. And the whole flag business will become legal to start using it, using the flag, and to confront the government and everybody else who you name as a criminal fraudster or a criminal organization and the whole government and anybody that you think is causing loss, harm and injury or, or looks like they're getting away with, with um, like John Key and run away and go after them. So you can go after them once we get these two more signatures. I didn't need a whole bunch of them, but I wanted to have a look at all the ones who, 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 who put their names forward with Gregory. I don't know that yet because it, 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 they weren't there. And so um, I, I would like them to come and see us. I, I got sick. I got really sick going around the corner, round, 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 round sitting in the back of Blair's truck. Um, and um, I, I, don't like, I don't like being in the back seat, going around corners. And we had uh, Horny Mason in the front and, and Blair and me. <coughs> so, uh, so, so uh, anyway, uh, we uh, we uh, we didn't have much uh, much reception when we got there, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, only to say that there was a, a few a few people not very happy with uh, how things are run over there. But that's Napoli. Hey, that's that's I left that to I had full confidence in Gregory to do anything. And if anything happened to me, and I dropped dead, he 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 has to carry on on a marae. When, when the chiefs don't turn up, like Kingy used to not turn up at all, the other chiefs take over and, and, and continue to keep it going so that, that it kept going. He, 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 the good thing, he kept going. 
and without me. And I saw someone there with a mobile phone um, um, playing, playing what we were doing at uh, Awaroa and live streaming with Andy. And uh, so it, it should have gone to the part where, where I was legislating the, the, the Ernest Augustuson to match the flags going up. So it's a pity that he didn't have the sound systems like how I was thinking. Uh, we had our sound system with uh, Dion being there. And um, I was hoping that um, Gregory would have his sound system so he can link it up and blare it all over the place so that everybody can hear instead of one person was looking at it herself or himself and, um, and uh, playing it. I saw that. And so it's a shame that they didn't hear um, up that particular part of Ernest Augustus that we, uh, we don't petition and we ordered him from this court to go straight onto the phone and, and as a legitimate right, a legitimate right of the true crown uh, uh, monarch bloodline of the, 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 the original kings, King, 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 um, King William III, King George III and his sons, King George IV, King William IV, and the next one's supposed to be King Ernest Augustus I. So that's the straight Dutch Protestant bloodline um, that should have kept running along that path. And, uh, and uh, they're still going under Protestant law of those kings because of that flag. You see, even though they went into to uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth's Catholic side, they still want that flag to keep them in, in business because without it, they got no admiralty on the dry land. And um, so they're just playing around with that flag through New Zealand and, 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 and Britain is still causing war because it's a war flag or declaration of war flag on anybody that gets in the way of their business. So they use it to create havoc in America. And that was way back. That they've been using that flag for years. So it, the, so it has not been hijacked by the government like how George Job said. It's been hijacked all along, right back to when they legislated out. You see, they put it in the cabinet and then they sucked the living daylights out of it all these years and no one said nothing. That some people were, were privy to it some people were privy to it, like the Waitangi um, National Trust Board. Those people are put their photos and then drop the power notes on their heads. And there's nothing they can do about it because we've turned this flag on them. And uh, good, it, it's good if everybody saw and read this book, the 424 page, this one, that Andy's going to just roll, roll over soon. This one, this one. And, uh, and just... We won't be doing any talking on that. We'll just roll it past so that when you see the photos roll past, it's them again being on trial tonight <coughs> as default after default after default contract and, and affidavits and everything on their head in the book. And, um, and uh, they're all, the main ones are in there. The, the main um, criminal are uh, in there, including the Rothschild, Evelyn Rothschild and his wife, um, Lynn Forrester, or Ross Child, um, that's um, chairman of the whole organization. And he's been like that all this time. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's um, we've, got, we've got people, I've seen young people like Tangana Fenua is picking up on, on this. That's very good. When I saw him making that video uh, with Gregory, and thank goodness he's got, um, somebody was there filming, and um, and, and um, I, I saw the video, and um, I'm impressed with with uh, with the way the Home Guard put those flags up like that, because I didn't know that was going to be like that, and and otherwise I would have been talking about it, and and, and putting the photos up there with it what, of what he had in mind, and all his all his attention had gone to Ernest Augustus the fifth. And forgot about the land title, and but that's okay. That's okay. That's easily fixed. But it just delayed the uh, signing, and there's no panic 
because we're just extending the date. I have to alter the document to extend the date so that it can be uh, it can be finished off. So it's not much to finish it and it becomes legal on that end. So we'll have two ends of the main contract finished and then we can start using it and drop the pound out on their heads, including wiping off the Bank of England and the digital currencies of that Sunak uh, Prime Minister and and prorogue the whole Westminster and uh, and New Zealand governments. Those two, those two are the are the the beast. That's it's too big for anybody. It's too big for anybody to think about knocking that out without this flag or how to use it. So now you know how much power that flag's got in who's holding on to it and using it for its right reasons. You see, so now it's us and them uh, and, 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 and all that business that's being created by the use of that flag for creating and uh, war, on war to make money out of war and we get it back, it stops. All the war stops because they got no power to use that force in law on any more um, um, countries, um, um, what you call uh, takeovers and um, invasion, invasion of other countries, including Israel. That's been corporatized and stolen with that flag. All that, uh, that's why I say about Israel, they might sound very good about religion and all the rest of it, but they stole it from the black Africans. And, and the Pope stole, stole those obelisks and pyramids from the black Africans. You see, they, they, they can't prove that God gave it to them and the power to, to, to make uh, electricity out of those pyramids and all of that. Uh, so, uh, so that's those, those flags of, of the Moai. Um, uh, and it's got the pyramid in the flag, and uh, also the uh, the uh, uh, Moai statue, and, and the seal of the Moai is is a very powerful memorial stuck deep in the earth. And you just saw the rock there just just roll past, and that's deep in the ground. That's Te Rawaikato Farahere the Manukau's title that the Freemasons put together. See, it's everything secret, and now you know. The Pandora's box is open, and who is behind it? The Freemasons are behind it, but they've got all the money out of it now. So it's a closed story as far as they're concerned, and you can tell everything about it, but it's getting the money off them. That's, that's the trick. Who's going to get the money off them and how? You see, if we get Cook Street, then that's one little effort of it's already there, the land and everything stuck to it, and all the business, that's not a hard deal. But trying to get the money of the Rothschilds, that's another thing to think. How the hell are you going to knock that out? Well, the only way is to buy out the militaries in 250 countries with the pound note in lieu of the old debt. The old debt, if you can prove there's a debt and a criminal offence in the law, and, and, and mostly the, uh, the Commonwealth countries use legislation, and, um, and uh, Parliament, British Parliament still use uh, law and, and legislation. So you have to see which law you're going to apply to, uh, to the offence you're going up against and use the right acts. So we got plenty, a truckload of acts of 1832, 1837, King William IV. And one of them is the Hanging in Change Act. And that's one for people who are murderers of, of genocide for mass murder. And that one's just not far away. This is the guy that put all those, those Maori and, and mixed up the Maori with the, uh, with the uh, native and the snapshots. When you look at the book, you'll see them snapshots of one, one minute, Queen Victoria is saying, oh, the native, indigenous, Aboriginal people and their protection from Britain. And then next shot, you see the Maori, Whakaputanga, at the same year of 1831 or 1689, 1789, and there's a, hello, where did the Maori get in there? You see? So there 
you've got a problem with the Maori government and, and the government here with their Maori government and with Jacinda Ardern, you can't say nothing about that and try and get out of this court because you're locked inside it now with affidavits and decree, which is real, real, real lethal decree and especially writ warrants on your head. You've got those plus legislation acts on top of your head and the motu propria on top of your head again. And the motu propria is going right on top of the Vatican's head as well. And the Admiralty is going on his head as well. Where he got his wealth from was this eight-point star of St. Patrick. And, um, and, uh, and so they get the death because they can't prove where they got the jurisdiction from. It was from these lineup of kings here. And this, um, you'll, you'll see them somewhere along the way uh, from um, um, William the Conqueror right through to Ernest Augustus V. We want on the throne and throw out the corrupted um, um, inheritor, uh, Ch uh, Charles, their, their, their fake make-believe King Charles um, um, uh, usurper. So, you see, they, they can't say that he's a child third and say we're going to use him straight away because we've got time to put him out before he puts his hand on a scone in, in Scotland and, and try to make himself like Prince for these years, a vice, a, a vice admiral or commander in chief a high position of the British Royal Navy. So they got rid of the British Royal Navy and just made it British Armed Forces to hide all the Navy stuff away. And then they just pluck out um, um, Michael Boyce out of retirement uh, and put him into um, um, the, the uh, House of Lords as a Lord Baron Boyce, getting that title. And so they can milk his mortgage um, um, crown and anchor, that's what the mortgage is, the crown and anchor um, uh, title to keep their, their corrupted business going. So we just liquidate that or put, put, this, put this flag and, and, and King Ernest Augustus, the fifth crown and anchor, and whop the whole lot of them out. See, so, so that's, that's where your money comes from, the admiralty and the mortgage. So we claim the mortgage, bank instruments in our law, uh, for the whole world, and that's where the model comes out of, and cutting the blocks up, and all of that from big blocks. That's I went through and got all the titles out for that, so I got I got that as proof with Mohi Manikau's treaty claim that they rejected. They rejected his treaty claim and rejected my uh, uh, his claim to Cook Street um, at the time, and rejected all his original Moriori. Um, uh, traditional whakapapa or, 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 or title to the land and just took the contemporary um, history of professors that made their own stories up and altered the whole framework of whakapapa. So there, that, that's, that's just to give you an idea of how we, 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 we were hoping that Gregory would carry up uh, a native court on his own. And for Napui, when I did my speech in front of them to explain, he said to me, you better explain why you weren't here. So I explained as much, I might have got about five or six or seven times for every question they asked. So if you've got a question, you just ask them, I'll, I'll answer everyone. So there's nothing missing. And so, uh, so um, he said, you answer the question of well, why aren't you here to address all these people? And I said, well, we should have communicated well enough to make you confident in front of your own people. You can run a native court, which I believe you can, and you've done a great job, I must say that. But the communication was not correct. Um, and what I wanted from you to get a chief, and, and, and there were chiefs there. And so we were supposed to, I was supposed to be there on the Saturday, the 10th, not Friday, and you would have written into your itinerary that I was going to be there on Friday, but there's nothing on that and nothing on my agenda that I was going to be there on Friday. So never mind, that's just a mistake. We make mistakes, we're not perfect, uh, but we've got 
the instrument, the legal instrument, and he's related to those very well. Uh, I'll give him that much, and I was impressed with the flags he put together, and it looked pretty, it looked right, and it is right, and we are declaring that everything is correct in what he did, uh, apart from the mishaps of, of getting the people coming from all over the country and disappointed that I wasn't there, um, and um, I apologize for that. And uh, But uh, we haven't lost nothing. And just bear in mind that you went there for a reason, and we have the results for you. We need just two signatures to make it legal, and you have your native title intact, and almost saved so far that you'll have your freedoms back and your control, 100% control of your lands as natives born on the land, which is equals, all equals, and not just one little tribe here and a little tribe there. The Whakamininga is a hard job because I've been in there for a long time and they came over and so I had to explain to them again who I am, where my name comes from, Tahiri, and the law, L-O-R-E, Tikanga law in my family, the Wa Noa people, was a tribe and they brought the surname here, surname here, to carry on that, uh, that um, Tikanga law. <clears throat> so I left the Tikanga law for everybody else. I just wanted to do the real estate and talk English so my people or anybody can understand English and not so much Maori. And now you've got a problem in Cook Islands with the Maori over there. It's no longer connected to New Zealand because Jacinda Ardern changed it. She changed the status of Cook Islands and now it will become a war zone and a landing strip for all their planes. And that's all you hear, bombing planes, landing and noise and pollution of uh, military going up and down the street and it becomes a military zone. Something like Hawaii is still not free. It's still, still in the control of America, which is controlled again by the Vatican and the Rothschild banks. So those corporations, the city of London and a, a Vatican City Corporation, private corporation, and um, Washington, D.C., we, 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 we're liquidating the whole lot of them. Um, the same fraud, one fraud equals all fraud. So very good. I can hear Gregory saying that, although his sound system of uh, Tangata Whenua done a good job of that too, of filming him. At least we have some evidence to show the world who we are and what our native title is. Eventually, very quickly, people will pick it up and say, right, that's us and the numbers will grow from there. So I've seen, I've tried the Maori government, Whakameninga, and it won't go because it's not for everybody completely because the Whakameninga and the government in Jacinda Ardern are talking to each other and they're sharing information and their contract is still with the Queen and the Maori chief, which is just a picture of their, their authority as a private corporation and nothing to do with Britain. So they've cut themselves off, but they're hanging on to the flag that they legislated out, the stupid fools, and think that's going to work for them. I doubt it. I don't think so. So law against legislation is too much for them because they don't like law because it controls them. But they can control their own legislation, and so can we. We've got legislation that legislates them right out of their legislation and no more to play with. And they only got a constitution that's not entrenched. They've been trying to entrench it for years and can't because they haven't got the original native title to the land. So there, everything they did to hide the native title away, we've got it now. You, you've got your power and the trickery in the, in the flag and the Maori word. The word and the flag is the trick. That's the key, key to unopen the Pandora's box of all this criminal organization and take it back off them, the flag, take the flag off them and dissolve their laws and and and, and foreclose on the, 
the, the business and audit the books of the trust the, the, and the reserve bank uh, with this Auro Bank and its authority. They can't get past this authority and think it's disappeared. No, it has not disappeared. It might be old, but it's not gone away. It's still there on that piece of land. Just as well, Mohi Manikau put his name on that piece of land and not any other piece of land because he said to me, John, this is where it is, here. This is where we set up our confederation for the whole country. And he said, it's mine. And so you say, it's mine too. So that's how, that's how you do it. And if everybody did that, with this native title and take a hold of it and go and confront the government and say, it's mine, my flag over you is not yours. Where's your evidence? Waste the time trying to ask them where the evidence because there's none, there's none. This is proof in 28 weeks now that they can't refute this and they can't refute Cook Street, the piece of corporation land that, that's, you know, that's got 8 billion tied up in that and other 17 properties that will seize because they corrupted the Manukau title and history with a contemporary history over a traditional, original, native oh, like So there, that's, that's that part of it. But I'll just go back to uh, what happened at um, Kororareka since we've, we've, we've We've, we've got to um, contact those um, um, native chiefs, native, native people that were there uh, to contact me directly on 0210782523 or my, my email, moai, M-O-A-I, energy, E-N-E-R-G-Y, at gmail.com or just leave a message on my messenger to, so I can quickly, I'm not going to wait around for, for weeks till the 20th of March next year. There's no time to lose. It still has to be processed through the British to try and summons the British military or any other contracted military to come and help us to recover the debts over here before we go worldwide to recover the debts with the same pound note for them to but into it the debt to the debt of that as big time collateral on a trillion pounds on each one's head that you can see how many photos there are in all the years back to Helen Clark and Muldoon and all the rest of their heads that are put on Facebook in was 109 Facebook pages but went down to 83 pages with all this stuff they wiped out the first years from 2008 I was on Facebook and it had wiped out my, my YouTube videos and Twitter from 2008 to 2010 where all this stuff was in there. There's the Maori flag, there's the Maori party with this, with this flag uh, at the back of them because they're Maori and, and the whaka are, are Maori outside, um, that's um, normal people and, and they're using it as their corporation of the government and just in the, the and says nothing, but it's not legal. It's not legal. It's just a, 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 a image. It's just um, a counterfeit. It's a, it's a counterfeit, and they calling it a whakaputanga. It's calling a whakaputanga flag. These lot of thugs here, and this little thug on the left, is calling it a whakaputanga in their treaty settlements and their Waitangi tribunal report and so there we caught them we caught them using counterfeit flag and putting two of them up in the RSA return services um, uh, in Paihia and, and Gregory said that they never do that with the, a flag and put two flags up and so my interpretation was they put one up as a whakaputanga and the other one up as a confederation to mix them to make them one no, 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 no. It's a different contract in the Queen's Bench Court of the Pakaputana and its interpretation of a king's flag that didn't say this was for Maori and didn't say 
take my flag and deface the thing and call it a whaka putanga, waka, instead of a big ship. And, and, and so there is an illusion of what the Maori have been duped. They have been duped by the Treaty of Waitangi and got less than 1% and the stupid fools accepted it. And, and, and that's it, contract is finished. They can't jump into this contract because they already had their bite at it from Britain and New Zealand. And so they're out. Anybody wants to come in, they have to come in with clean hands and no, no, no past of, of fraud Maori is, is going to ruin all the future generations because it's attached to the Queen, which was fraud and Queen Victoria frauded the, the, the King's titles in the first place. It was set up by the Rothschilds to switch the King out and drop the Queen Victoria in and made it legal. They rooted up that way to make it legal and, and, and the Protestants says they forbid women on the throne, but these Rothschilds stuck her on the throne, and that's the fraud. That's one fraud, what the whole of the Queen's out, and because this flag is stuck in 1834, and you can't touch it, it's still in business. It's still, it's legislated out here, that's their Queen's title, but we, when we ready, we legislated back in a higher court, and they won't let you do that in the, high, in the Hague, in the World Court, they won't let you do that because you're going in their jurisdiction. So anybody that's got incorporations with any other seals and they think they're going to work um, uh, with a Queen and Maori chief has got no jurisdiction. Only the, um, um, the uh, Te Ture Whenua Act, but then that that's goes to Westminster, but it's not enough. It's not enough because you haven't got the native title to the land and no instruments to go with it. So it's, and the, the government is just waiting for Napuhi to settle all Maori claims and your Maori title is gone. Then back into thin air and no more, no more Maori titles. I won't say the Maori people, but the Maori titles and every claim that you've been settled is gone. It's gone and new titles come in, and new legislation, and new Pope laws. He says, I've got control of all my earth, um, earth con um, law. Now I'm going out there to get a new law higher than this law. And that's what he said. He's going out with the Maui and, and Mahe Mahe planet, the brown, brown dwarf planet that I've got on our titles, to my own Tahitian family, and their L-O-R-E, truth law that we apply here with the Moai, and they're gonna steal that title to the universe that is planted with these stone age people that got the power to make things move, make big rocks move of those rock people, and they're gonna try and steal that title. And they had a, there was a, a video of, of Moai in, in the Cardiff game of football where they, pulled the Moa out of the ground with ropes, this rugby people, and then a little boy kicked the football up in the air and it came down as a meteor and killed the Moa stone statue dead. And they said, he's gone and he's back in the earth. And then they took over. <laughs> he's not gone. It was just in their head, just like this Maori myth. It's in their head. It got nothing, nothing, and they're getting away with it because no one's challenging them. Now you got some legal instruments to fight the legal battle. And it's freely given to people so that they can get their control back. And it'll negate all laws that um, are put together with somebody's jurisdiction on their documents. If you look at documents that people put together, you can see they've got Mary carvings or it's got some um, some of their whakapapa on it, but it's got no legal. It's got to be le legitimized to make money out of, or it's just an instrument of your own ticker, uh, which has to be accepted by any law system or any system of government. 
before you can do anything. Otherwise, the only way you can do it is get your own government. And that's what I've been flipping doing for years with the Whakaminia, trying to get a government out of it. And it just didn't work. The Maori government just didn't work because they didn't have all the bits of the puzzle, and especially the Freemasons certificates. And no one's allowed to go in that area. And I'm lucky I got the chance to go into the area and uh, and uh, discover how all the real estate was going together when I was in real estate in Remera to learn how all the title transfers work. So now you've got it, I'll give it to you and um, and learn from the book, the, especially the latest one, and 28 books or 27 books altogether that makes up a combination of law and order against what the government has better arguments than the government even though it's got pictures on it's better that's the way I thought of doing it so you can see who you're putting in, in on, on trial and they can't tell us how to run our court you, you can use law but you you can interpret it the best way you want and I couldn't think of a better way than play around with capitals and throw all the capitals back at them and get rid of them and so make, muck, their, muck their system right up and these are the seals. These are the uh, uh, 12 seals that we use to trap them, trap them with the king's law. That's the king's law in his crown. And that's the crown we operate on. This is the Maui crown. I took, whipped the hat, hat off his head and, and put him there so the queen can use his hat, hat on his head, the basket of knowledge, and claim the, the world. That's the world title that uh, the Queen Victoria, she commercialized it and organized it to make on her document to claim the whole planet. So there, that's one that will blow out the, the, the whole lot of them and, and say, we, we are, we are, we are, uh, no, I, the natural people of the earth and, and we don't need Bibles for that because it goes straight up. We don't need my Bibles in the court to say no, just swear to each other, and swear to your own and swear to your, your, your God, if you've got a God. This is, this, is, this is what I call God, the creator of heaven and earth and the universe. So it's, it's starting to look like something that uh, you can snap off them and turn back on them while it's still got a lot of value. It's worth trillions to the people who use it on their documents. In, in their court system. There he is there for the tidal turbine around the world for, for the hydrogen economy. I've got all the plan ready to go with Scotland. They're the, they're the, the experts in tidal energy. So I'll just go there and get, get all the instruments to uh, permits and everything and uh, contract China or somebody, Indonesia or someone or to uh, or Hyundai um, in Korea, uh, South Korea, where I set up with Kawi, Kawi, um, um, design engineers of tidal turbines and all those um, highways under the sea uh, company that said they can do it. And it's just contract with a contract agreement and a power note. See, so there, that's us. That's us with the power note instrument and legal instruments and memorials to the land and real people with moving lips and no dead corpse in their corporation court. We got live people in our corporate court with that corporate flag. If you, people wouldn't know in if there's a corporate flag, but they, they, only, they only think of Tika, evil God, to evil God, but not the flag as, as commercial. They just say it's their power, but it's a British flag, but they're going to the United Nations. It's silly to go away from it to something less you're going to get from the United States and, and, and not go back to the trust they're still beneficiaries of and claim that, but they don't have the instruments and the know-how, how to stitch it all together with all the pieces of the puzzle and the key, the flags, the key, and, uh, and uh, um, the instruments of uh, title, paper, bits of paper, they're just bits of paper that, that buy and sell and put titles on it for lease. They gotta give it back. The, the, the king the king is gotta give it back. Now the, you've got no queen. 
what they've been swearing to for years. And it's dead. Anything with a queen on is dead because it's got a king there now. We were prepared to be a king long ago, way long ago, until the time comes. Then walk your king in over that king there with all this stuff. And they can't match it. If there's anybody else that has better instruments like this, then show me so that we can see how close you can get to it before you can do anything on a will case to take this beast on. If you've got something to take the beast on, then that's what you're looking at. You're looking at the threat of losing everything in this country and all the other countries in the world. So so here, there's Nada Glovers. She was going to put the flag in the, pole, in the hole in, 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 in Aurora to claim the bank if I was in Kurareka. And she, I had to make an intuition um, decision, use my intuition, like Gregory went over there to check out if there was a court there or any indication of a court. And he found, yes, there is. So he satisfied himself. So he went on his journey again. To, um, um, well, he's been following me for, for years. I've only known him for the last three or four months. Uh, I've never known him on a mara. I've never seen him on a mara. But he's doing things right as far as Admiralty is concerned and mortgage documents and putting Ernest Augustus on the throne. So there, I'll give him a plus for that in his native court. But he didn't get me that little certificate on the title so I can stitch his native title to himself and every Napuri. That's what's missing at the moment. It's not a big deal. It just needs two people, not the whole tribe. Just two, two. Pick your best indigenous native Aboriginal surname. It doesn't matter who it is, as long as it's the surname or Ututonga. That's, that's a real good one, that one. I haven't rang any, rang any of them, of those 57, I think it is, of those names on the Rafaji 6 block, especially that block, because that's where Kilo is. The Maori, Japanese woman, with a Maori title on that block. I don't know how the hell she's gone on there, but uh, if I do any investigations, there, there's John Rogan and the seat, the, the judge seat on the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank. So he kicked off those land titles that I'm talking about, split the lands up for all the land in New Zealand. It's this guy. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, built up Auckland with the Freemasons, uh, really the um, um, attorneys, accountants, the mechanics, the carpenters, all those tradespeople that put all their skills into that building. When they have the meeting, it's only for 10 minutes or, or 15 or 20 minutes at the late, the, the most. Oh, here's the proclamation that I read out and the date is on it. This is what I did in Titi Marai in front of everybody. And Kingy says, get up, get up. Don't worry about it, get up. And so I got up and of course they told me to sit down. So I read it out and, um, and, then, and then we signed it and then went into the Waitangi Marai with it and declared it again as a proclamation of what is saying there. And the date of the 20th of March, 1834 here, um, Captain George Lambert, HMS Alligator 21 Gun Salute on Mikey Hill in Kororareka on the, um, I can't say, 10th of April, 1834 flag staff. So two dates, two dates there to, um, to Proclaim that I read that out on 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 Friday, and that should have been blaring all over uh, Kurulareka, uh, so everybody can hear at the native court hearing on Tapika um, Park, um, where where every, where um, Gregory had his tent. That should have been blaring away there loudly to all those people who came from all over the country to hear that. That's me there making three and a half hours of straight legislation, this proclamation, and a notice letter to the Admiral of the Fleet, Michael Boyce. So there, that's that's uh, that's really uh, what happened there. These ones here is the SIFs. This is what they do to children and families, split them up. And so those people in the government are on trial with a trillion pounds on their head. Just the figure. It's a figure. 
but it's a big instrument that they didn't deny. 28 weeks, 28 weeks to the day when their photos run past, they are on trial again. And that's how we do our courts. They give them notice one week, give them another notice the next week, and the third strike, you're out. You're out if you don't reply. And they, they, they'll buy their mobile phone to ring straight into the court and join to come and defend their name and their photo and or say, take it off or try to take it off in their courts. Try and take this court to their court and see how far you get. And uh, so there, we're challenging their court right now um, and uh, their jurisdiction of, of their both flags of the Union Jack flag and also the Whakaputanga flag that they can't prove that it exists in real legal terms in their government when they have cut off their connection to Britain and they don't swear to the Queen of England or Britain. And so that leaves them on their own floating in midair for you to pot off. You can pot them off one by one because that's what the Pope said. I dissolve all my, uh, all my corporations and trusts and you're not immune from any prosecution, prosecution of any court that you use adequate laws to um, combat this sort of criminal organization. So I was saying these two little rats here that's just gone past, their photos are there again. Um, I send the Kiro, the Governor General, and Jacinda Ardern, you're rolling past again. This is the fifth time that you've been on trial and, 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 and rolling past in this court again. So there's more than three strikes. You've got so many strikes on your head and ignoring all, all that this court is saying. And, and, uh, and so um, the time has passed and now we use pass in law. Law makes a contract. We've contracted you into this court in front of everybody who is waiting patiently as natives to see some justice in their own court for a change for once in a lifetime, catch you all out, and then you can't escape um, what, what we've got here. And there's a couple of pound notes there, just so we can use those and have them in your pocket as real money, and it's our business to have that and do anything we like with it. And the government in Britain can't do nothing much about it because we have control of that and the flag and, and everything. Britain is less of power than a king's flag. So there, yeah, that went rolling past. But um, I, just, I just want to say to uh, Gregory that uh, we have made a decision now to cut you loose from the executive to look after the Admiralty full on contract with the Home Guard and we will run the Confederation of Chiefs with one less of 12 and put another um, a member in to be full-time running the business. And you've got a, a handful on your plate to make everything um, work uh, after, after, after the 28th and now the next stage to go to. So we have a, a big job here and you have to get your confidence back from Napuhi because I think you disappointed them and you disappointed us and especially um, Blair Ingram, that's my right-hand man and overseer in making sure everything I do is, um, is um, um, lawful and right and Hone Basin to make sure um, it it's goes out in Maori <clears throat> to address the Tikanga side and uh, to address chiefs, other chiefs of our pathway uh, with this native magistrate court as not a competition of the Whakameninga or, or Maori government. It is a fact that he's supporting something which is true in God's law, L-O-R-E, the Tikanga law of my own Wānoa family and Easter Island, the Maui statue, and uh, also right here, the marae with just a bed of stones and no Bible. I don't use Bibles because that's what's got all the money. It's the Bibles and the church have got all the money out of using bishops 
um, and Bible, and then the gun. That, that, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's what they use in that system of queen did that, not the king. The queen did that. So we're going to wrench the whole lot back off the queen and put it back into this um, um, king, Ernest Augustus, and uh, the fifth. And if everybody uh, can warm to that and forget all the heartaches in the last two, three days, four days, some of the people were helping um, Gregory to clean the paddock and to uh, help with um, with um, uh, all the issues that uh, Gregory wanted, but I think he might have to change his attitude. But the, the idea is there. The idea is right, but the attitude was wrong on the day. And uh, what I got um, from him and what he did to uh, um, Dion Walker, he's, 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 he's in the mental health um, before, and he, he understands people very well and entertains them to calm their their, their thinking and and um, and uh, any issues that is, is um, affecting them in their mental health. So that's his position there, as um, keeping the peace uh, of people. But um, he was offended by the people that were there in the paddock, and so there we we'll leave that there. We we'll leave that there and only concentrate on the good work that Gregory did, and Tania Rameka, and their home guard, but uh, I don't like too much force or um, or too much power on people, especially the locals. And Refa, near, near Refa, um, uh, rang me up and complained. I, I don't blame her, but um, I, I left everything to Napui. And one, one thing I see in front of everybody, I don't speak for Napui, and it was not my place to speak in front of them and tell them what to do. It's for them to pick up the information, to, to, to use it themselves in the correct way and to bring all the people together this way, not the other way that they're doing in the Maori because it's corrupted. Everything Maori, the word Maori is corrupted. It's been designed to deceive all the people of New Zealand. So you have to get rid of the people in government using Maori and let the Maori decide what they want to do with it. After that, we got rid of them in Parliament, ruining the people who want to stay Maori. So there, I've got nothing much against Maori. And uh, I want to stay Moai or native <clears throat> and try to forget the past of things that have gone against people, the Maori um, tribunal, the Maori land courts, all the fights I've had all the years in the Maori land court and got nowhere because the trustees, the lands I'm on, in about 13 blocks of land, I can't get onto it and do anything because they say, no, we are the boss, we're the landowners, we're, the, we're this and that. Give us all your plans. Give us all your plans before you can go on the land. So there, um, that's that's all gone now because we've got our own court. Um, finally, we can do things for ourselves. That's everybody, Parkers, Indians, Chinese, anybody who got born here and anybody who's not born here, they can find out into a hapu or, or somebody that's uh, in the community they're living in to join up and just be a native. And you'll be right. You'll be right. Find out that's adopted into any of the families. And you can do what you like about that. <clears throat> so there, that's uh, something, Andy, of a wrap up of things and um, so that just leaves um i'm going to ring up the the, the names of god of 57 i think it is surnames of people i've picked out um from the raft d6 block um Mary land title block and uh, go from there I'll, I'll just need two and if um gregory's um people have come up um to let them know that uh, um, um, uh, I would like to see all their names. They can fire them into the email, my email or messenger, their details, and I can ring them and talk to them and, and go Konoi to Konoi on the camera <coughs> with the messenger, which is what I really do as, as being um, best, best than uh, to run around all over the place and uh, not be accepted. So it has to be an indigenous, Nathan Everett 
or surname to be British and a native to claim the native land title and not Maori name that's mixed up in, in um, native and part Pakia surname and that point work it will get rejected and I don't want it to be rejected. I want it to be full on confident people in what I'm doing <clears throat> and for you to own everything I say and do and I'm right and um, <clears throat> I can get it off my head and give it back to you all and then I can go to England or try to go back this time without getting my head blown off and plane blown out of the sky but if I can do it from here fine I'll send somebody else there to go and do the uh, trustee and replace the queen because there's no head of the trust and we are allowed to as a partner of that flag business not Maori to claim to the title of Queen Victoria which Kingy signed as a King Edward his real surname is Kingy Edward he's a King Edward and Queen Victoria bloodline to claim that's what I told him you claim the Queen Victoria trust and I'll carry it through so that goes back through Waitangi Marae, what we proclaim in this proclamation, and also through the uh, um, through the uh, Titi Marae. At the time, they told me to sit down, and then after that, booted me off the Marae. And so I um, won't forgive anybody there, the young ones, Apiata, um, 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 Hama Apiata, and also um, um, that fellow, Tikawa, Kawa, um, What's his name? Nati Kawa. Nati Kawa for booting me off that and told me never come back. So that's that's really hurt me that. That really hurt me uh, for them doing that because they're colonized and their brain cells are not what the Tupuna wanted. And that's why they get nowhere and they're controlled by Jacinda Dern and uh, Iwi corporations for their own selves. <coughs> so one for you, Nati Kawa. This title here and that flag you're flying is not legal. There's no legal in it. And it's ineffective for what you're doing there. And we're going to remove it from you legally with every little instrument in here against what you haven't got. Or if you've got, come into the court with that. And if you get it wrong, you'll get a pound note. You already got a pound note in your head anyway. You might get two. And that that will that that will that will make things worse for you if you get two of them on your head. So so there, Andy. That's that's a little wrap up of, of my events last week. And um, uh, where's my agenda? Have you got the agenda? Um, yeah, can you go to your email and put the agenda up? With just those eight things I was going to talk about, and that would be the end of it after that. And, um, and if you if you go to your email and, and just fire up the, the agenda so uh, we can run through it and uh, basically it's question time after that from all those people who can ring in or find a way of getting in to ask me questions, any question you like, including the people who are on here tonight to ask me anything you're not happy with or anything that you're, you've seen and weren't happy about. So you can let me know now, even the Whakamini or anybody that I want to ask a question and know how to work Zoom, um, um, please come on and ask me. So um, whatever, I can see, um, um, blow it up, blow, blow, blow it up so I can read it. Or oh, I should have gone on my, I should have read it up. I'll, I'll just go to mine, hang on. I'll, I'll just go to mine. Email, where's mine? <clears throat> I should have had it ready on my email here. Uh, I can't blow it off that way. I can't blow it yeah. off. I've, I've, I've got it here. I've got it here. But you, I, I can read. I'll just read it while you while you catch up with me. So I've got the file was compressed and uh, made into a book form. So that, that was the best way. It was easy to download for people. And uh, if it was PDF, it just won't open. It's too big and 1.6 gigabytes of documents and the pictures make it won't work. And so you've got it now, you can open it. So one, go over the 424 pages we just did. 
um, court hearing what went wrong. Well, we've just addressed that. We just need to ask questions from the people now. And uh, on the 28th of October, 2022, opening in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court. And I just wanted um, people to see the a little bit of the video, but um, I don't want I don't want to play the video because I don't want to hang people up too long. <clears throat> it's for them to show them a bit of the clip of the uh, opening of the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in the morning at five, and again at 10 o'clock, just to show them that there was a court hearing live, and we were supposed to tune in to um, <clears throat> um, um, Gregory Cook, and, but his five o'clock was more or less in the daytime and not in the nighttime, in the dark, when they usually do, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. But he had his own show, which is good. It, it was his own show. That, that flag up that day was the Whakaputanga, counterfeit forgery of this um, this real British flag and they were doing it for their own private corporation in a Queen's Bench Court that they, they got nothing else to go on but a Queen's Bench Court jurisdiction of no authority to use that flag they legislated out. So there, that's caught them. It's caught them. So you people know now that that flag, the Whakaputanga they're flying with Biden is high treason against you, the native sovereign, la native land sovereign owners of this country, and this flag, to put it on them and build the hell out of them, that all the people who are flying that flag that have no jurisdiction, you've got control of this flag now in a legal court, any court in Britain, not the world court, because it's a waste of time going there because you've got more jurisdiction here than a world court. <clears throat> and, uh, and I can say that because when the Brexit came out, they tried to shut down Westminster with their world court and it didn't work. The, the, the EU went to the world court to try and shut down Westminster with Brexit and stop the Brexit from exiting um, or from not exiting and it backfired. The magistrate court in Britain fired them right out of the way. So that's what we do here, fire the whole lot out of the way. So there, there, this is to all the native countries in the world. You follow the same pattern here of this precedent case <clears throat> and do the same thing as us and use these books in your country and come under the jurisdiction of this confederation of chiefs of the whole United tribes of the whole world. And what I mean by United Tribes, the United Tribes of Native people born on the land. You evolve and not an original Native chief, but you pick your oldest, that's living elder with a Native surname, and that's all you need to do. Only one or two will be sufficient. Just like a Prime Minister, he's just one person signing for all the people in this country here, and she doesn't have no law. And you can make that one up by looking at it, that she only goes on legislation, which she can play around with and make it suit her stuff and her corporate business. So there, we will we, we, we go on to um, opening the Old or Native Match number two, Magistrate King's Bench Court in Helensville, in the reaches of the Kaipa Harbor, Hone Mayana Mason, um, Kamatua, Tohunga, so he blesses everything, the documents, he blesses the documents, he blesses all what I say as true. And, um, and because he looks at it from a, from a spiritual point of view, and that's why we have a Tohunga. And the government here legislated out the Tohunga Act and legislated out the Rongo, all the medicines that Maori make to heal themselves. They legislated it all out, legislated all our indigenous medicines out and we legislate them all back in see and legislate all the poisons out and stick the bill on the head that, that's how you fix that lot <clears throat> and legislate all the babies back and all the pa families back together and that's gone through the 32 it took me a long time to read them but I was getting tired and I was just about to stop halfway through and but however we lasted because I felt not too good um, 
and all about everything. Um, um, Cam, um, hang on. Open the Award of Native Magistrate Court. I was brought in a riches of Kaipara Harbour, Holy Mason, Kaumatua Tohunga, and Gion and myself, successor. And uh, Gion was a musician and um, a very good job to do that and to hold a flag up behind us. We had a big flag flying, but it wasn't in view of, I didn't even take a video of it with the camera. But anyway, Dion's flag was sufficient to <clears throat> have something in the background behind us um, um, to, uh, for, for the concept and the um, narrative. Um, and myself, successful outcome, a um, bit of a slow start, computer link and problems and sorting out small issues of setting up camp for the night but it all fell in place as planned and we post a link to Gregory running his own native court in Russell, Napui of stream 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 to the confederation in Awaroa but failed that plan to be a model how it to conduct a native magistrate court to the world, watching, watching natives in action and British UK our partners. So that was the the point of the exercise was him to follow suit and to do the same thing together. And I talk first as the president of the confederation, and he talks after, as backing up what we're saying together to join the two land titles together and that's that's not quite there yet but it'll get there we'll get there just a little bit of delay but hey rome wasn't built in a day <coughs> three signed documents in Arwaro, legal there now. now it's legal there then pack up and go to russell at 3 p.m after cleaning up for saturday as planned in for Kororareka on our agenda but not on gregory's agenda because he has to show me how he manages his own native magistrate court on our Auro model, but it was different plan. He had a lot of effort went into it by the Home Guard. Thank you to, for doing what you did with Ernest Augusta the fifth, but we did not know that was going to happen in our executive meeting to in as a complete surprise. So it was a good surprise, but I wish I would have known. I would have made a big pages about it and put it up exactly what he was going to do and forget about the land title that I wanted him to get and achieve. Um, that, um, anyway, hell, don't worry about it now. So there's a, 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 a film clip of him uh, doing well on, on Mikey Hill. And that's what the chiefs does. If you don't turn up, you carry on with your plan, and 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 and, and you know what to do. So that he carried on and to do the job, and that's sufficient enough. Uh, other than anything else that we love, we won't talk about negative stuff. We only look at the positive side of the outcome was good. <clears throat> the idea was good. And I approve of what he did on the hill. And you know, even though it hurt a lot of people, upset a lot of people, but he did the job of pushing Ernest Augustus onto the throne. And the British has to reply to that. That's a big issue. That's a real big issue for the British to answer to that because we've got evidence to say that the Rothschilds switched the title and corrupted the whole thing all these years and turned the flag into a war flag instead of a protection of war flag. It's supposed to protect from people that tamper with the flag between the contract and anybody who got in the way, we can summon war as an excuse against people with that flag. It's a declaration of war. So we were using it, legislated, that we are declaring war on the banks and declaring war on criminal organizations like the Pope said, and he's one, he gets this on top of his head as well because he used the Admiralty to make all his wealth and the Washington DC 
used his slave to make all his wealth from the Admiral, mortgage on the sea to the land, and the Bank of England and the Rothschild control, they took over the uh, Westminster Parliament and told them what to do. They were under the orders of the Vatican, Pope on the birth certificate side of Holy See in different countries with their churches there. That, that, that part, but he didn't, the Pope didn't have the land title. He don't, you, can't, you, can't, you, you can't usurp another country's sovereignty to the land. So that comes under the Queen Victoria Trust, like I was saying, King he signed that. He signed it over and it's going into the King William IV Trust, the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust, the Moai Crown to take out the, the uh, British Crown memorial title because they're using it. It doesn't belong to them as stolen property, stolen property return. And that's what um, Huni Mehana said on the uh, Tohunga. He says the property is, is, is stolen or lost and it returns, the land returns. And Reg Monaco could relate to that. He, he listened to the whole thing and he was happy to sign. So there, that's what I'm supposed to do in the loudspeaker to Napoli. And so they can hear it. Now you only got people watching the mobile to hear it, but they'll, they'll get to hear it. They'll, they'll, they'll better. They need more time. They always need more time to talk hui 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 and keep hui 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 for years until it sinks in because it hasn't sunk in yet. But once it does, they'll be very happy, very happy that all this just stuff they don't like seeing what their, their um, myth is all about being ruined. All, all their beliefs in, in the Queen honouring the treaty that she broke and every law that she broke and all their Crown agents broke, they don't care because they can break all the laws they like about marriage because it belongs to them. And so the poor, hapless Maori has got nothing left. It's all gone, sold, and got nothing much out of it, but just one percent or less. So there, that's that's how they that's how they accept things because it was money. It was it wasn't much, but it was better than nothing. Instead of going for a hundred percent, they just settle for less. And I, I don't like that. I, I don't, and that applies to anybody else in every other country they rob. The, the king didn't rob them. The, the queen did. Uh, Apologise to all the people wanting, waiting for me to, for me, a plan that for the 29th October, Saturday, I was going to be there to answer all questions and to tell them uh, what, what, uh, what's going on. But it's all over now. So you, you can be satisfied that we got the law in place and just finish it off. Yeah. Saturday, the um, 10 a.m. to have a court hearing and got the signatures, but that did not happen. And there was um, confusion in the camp. My apologies for that, but our communications were in agendas on my Facebook and website of our plan. So it didn't quite go to plan. It didn't quite, and I apologize for that, of people coming miles and miles away from the South Island everywhere. And um, I was promised to, to that they will see me there. But you can hear me and see me on a video and can message me anytime you want them face to face. It's open for anybody who wants to do that. And I can be open and, and take call any hour of the day. Doesn't matter. It doesn't worry me because I'm up all hours of the night anyway and wake up and I'm a short sleeper and my cat is missing. He's gone somewhere. And my secretary. I apologize I've done that. So there we are. I hope you accept my apologies <coughs> for not being there on 28th of 10. I would have put that Ernest Augustus fifth crown and anchor flag into the 424 page, which I'll do now. I'll add it in and alter everything in it and um, and redo it as uh, as the, the 20th. It's our official day is the 20th of March, 1834. That's the celebration day. So that'll be dated 
um, to, on 28th to get it officially legal. And then from then on, you'll have your own celebration day cut clear, clear of the whakaputanga, which will be out of business by the time we get to that day. So that's what I'm, ta- I'm telling you um, what, uh, what will happen. Um, six or oh, eight, six. I would have put the Ernest Augustus Crown anchor flag into 424 pages if I knew what he was, Gregory was thinking, but did not know that was going to happen. Came as a surprise, but it's done now. Would have upset a few people. I apologize for all the people who got upset and things happened nasty between them. I'm saying that it was null and void and everything else. No, it's very legal. I'll tell you that now. I'm in the law business and the real estate business to know what's right and what's wrong, what's fraud and what's criminal. And so I'm saying they're thugs and pirates. Anybody I say is a thug and pirate is a thug and pirate until they come in the court and say they're not. I'm still waiting. You still can come in every week and try and protect your name and I doubt very much if anybody has the confidence to come in because you'll get another power note on your head might be a bigger one on top and so it will take you some more in what you got left might be your underpants as well might be worth a lot and so that will be lost as well you'll be naked back in nature <clears throat> uh, if we want to say um, hang on I would have put August flag up, you know, what I was thinking, and going, and happened, came as a surprise, but it's done now, and have upset a few people, because that was not on my agenda, I would have told everyone about it, sorry, Napoli, if it offended you, but the narrative is true, I legislated King Ernest Augustus V in to replace Charles, King Charles, non admiralty king of British Royal Navy of these Dutch president, pres, Protestant king's flags in all that are proved and what he did to put it you on notice that the Confederation of Chief Native Sovereign People have created law to do this uh, to that British admiralty ship mast because we have the legal jurisdiction of admiralty law on dry land and the, um, what's this, and the something of, of King's laws, something of King's laws and legislation to that because the flag, because your New Zealand government has no jurisdiction of that flag to Britain, UK, native land ownership title over New Zealand now and you have no law too, and an inferior constitution and land title registration over our native court legislation. So seven, I asked for two indigenous native Aboriginal surnames, chiefs from Ngāpui at that, at that meeting we had with Gregory in the church that he, his, his church, uh, to match the two native surname chiefs in Waikato, just to balance it, to complete the native land title, legal ownership of New Zealand country uh, under Moai Crown, God's law of truth and King's martial law, man's law, British law system to liquidate Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister and her corrupt New Zealand Governor General, um, Cindy Kira, and Prime Minister's private corporation government's business and Bill Data charged them all and applied the laws on treason and criminal organizations operating on our native sovereign lands, seized their belongings and assets balanced by the New Zealand Crown and British Crown debts owed and payable now. So we're going to we're going to push this ahead now. Um, that that becomes law as soon as we get those two signatures. Uh, to complete the legal uh, title, native title of Napui for all Napui who are on a native side with the British and the other marriage on the other side with Jacinda Ardern and her government. Um, they stay over there because that's what they believe and that's what they've sworn their 
um, loyalty to um, a plastic queen and a plastic Maori chief picture on like a fly on the wall. Church meeting outcomes and moving on to the next stage. Now that all laws are completed, it's just two signatures from Napui to complete that contract and then title deed instruments are never got from Gregory. So no big deal. I have to get them myself. If I have to, I'll ring them up. And that's all it is, just to make the documents legal for you. And that belongs to you all there. And the Confederation can take care of the whole country with Te Rawaikato, Wharehere Manukau title, and reach Manukau there till Iri Manukau comes back on his land title there with his name on it to take over from me. In the meantime, it's me running the Confederation, and he was supposed to be, or he is, the official president of the Confederation of Chiefs with that flag there as ownership and the Freemasons title to the documents, paper titles, not the land, the paper titles, and the lease on the lands, the 99-year leases. We terminate the whole lot and all the British titles, we terminate the whole lot and put it back into a new, fresh British native chief title for all the world, the whole world, one shot. Out goes the Rothschild Bank and their digital currencies and away with them, away with them. Um, Ten, the court gives Napoli elders who put their names forward to contact me directly, John Wanoa, 021 078 2523 and email moa at gmail.com. So if it's convenient for you to come and see me, I prefer that because I hate traveling long ways now. I'm getting too old, 73. It's too too much for me. It's stressful uh, sitting in the back of the car. I like driving, but um, but um, but being a passenger, is, is my head spinning still a little bit now and uh, made my stomach not very happy. It was not very happy this morning, but I still slept a bit, little bit. And um, we're, we're not quite back to normal. It'll be another day and I should be back to normal from a trauma, a bit of trauma that was nerve-wracking. People saw me. I think one one woman was videoing. I hope she puts the video up or not, and that's up to her. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, to, she had it on me all the way through. So that's me, um, um, that they're waiting for answers, and I hope she was satisfied with my explanation and uh, nothing much I want to see with well, what Greg performance was and just only to say I was on a positive note, very happy with him and uh, the home guard and um, um, Tania Ramaka. Congratulations to you for carrying out a deed that uh, really was appreciated to get Ernest Augustus back on the throne in Spain and our interest in Spain and all that business that's gone missing that we will recover uh, with uh, military and uh, contracted once we get an answer back from, uh, um, from the um, House of Lords, <clears throat> not so much from the Parliament because it's run by Muslims and they won't go with this. They won't go with this. It's just the Navy that I'm interested in because that's our legal partner and not everything else. Just him because they need him for the mortgage and the eight-point star to pick up all the lease on the lands in the world and put it into the crown that's stuck with this flag, extant or evermore fixed in statute law on the 20th of March, 1834, and that's the first contract, a second contract, sorry, the first contract is the letter <clears throat> in 1831 with King William IV and chiefs, and the second contract after that was when the king said, pick a flag with the letter, pick a flag, and let me know. So they picked the flag in 1834, that's the second contract, 
with those 13 chiefs. And then the third contract was the 1835 Declaration of Independence that was engineered or designed by the Rothschild and the government here in New Zealand and not the Crown in England because it was the missionaries that got stuck into it in Waitangi and duped everybody with their, with their, their, their Australia, New Zealand land titles, Torrens land titles, and then they fashioned it so that they would have more say in the churches owning land and uh, also the government using the church as, as uh, some e ecclesiastic control of uh, what land titles they produce from, um, from church, um, what you call it, the, their, their titles, parishes and uh, big tracts of land in the church's ownership. So there, that's, that's that. And so we've got another picture here of, um, of the video of, um, of um, Gregory. And look at the picture. It's very nice in the, uh, in the email. And Andy, you can show them the picture of uh, Gregory and, uh, and the display of the uh, British flag on the left. The, 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 well, the whakaputanga put it up the top, but that's counterfeit. But we're counting it as the Confederation of Chiefs flag the first flag to come there. They didn't put a whakaputanga flag up at 1834. They put the native chief's flag up on the pole. So a correction to the whakaputanga and the whakamininga and the New Zealand government that's using this flag as a counterfeit forgery. I'm just pointing it out to you now. People of New Zealand, you've been duped. You have been duped and deceived of a Maori Whakaputanga flag that the king didn't say, I give you a whakaputanga and stick it up and rubbish my name and change it to whatever you want and use my power for some other reason other than trading with me. And I can't see any of it yet. There's no proof of anything you've done with my flag yet. And I, I, I need these natives to find that out and to investigate you lot. And if you're wrong in what you do, I'm making a statement now. If you're wrong in your, your interpretation of that flag and can't show that crown business that you've raked out of the flag and how you, how you got your authority to trade with other countries, then if you can't show us in our investigation, then that business belongs to us. All of it. All of it where that flag went. And we can know that it went to America and all the Commonwealth countries and all the other countries you're allied with and America and the Vatican, all of it, all the whole lot of it is in this flag with these three flags underneath it and the British as partnership. There is your real partnership, not the other one on the other side, the counterfeit on the Waitangi side. So there, that's the crown and anchor, which is the mortgage of coming off the sea onto the dry land. And that's King Ernest Augustus, the, the, the fifth, his admiralty to take over Charlie, who doesn't have anything like this. He can't prove where he gets his mortgage from. He stole the damn thing. He stole it. That's what I'm saying here. Tell you native people. Ah, now we know. Now we know how that works. So you've got some of the puzzle in your brain cells. And those people on the other side, in the Whakamania, can't argue against you when you talk like this. Throw away all those queen papers because they're gone. And they only usurp this flag here. And put the fucker put on a flag up. The trustees did that. They got the key, and you take the key off them because this flag is not their flag. They not their flag to use jurisdiction from it for their corporate crown queen of a picture on the fly on the wall, title to nothing thin air. So there, there, you've got all this against them, and the flag on the right, the British on the left, and. And on, that's how Gregory puts it in Admiral terms on the starboard and the other side and the middle. 
Um, so our, our, our confederation flag um, to Britain is on the right. And also at the top, we flipped that around on the 28th. We flipped that around in our minds until it becomes legal when those two chiefs sign the D, um, land title D, native land title D, the writ warrant to recover all that debt, and the decree to put your own rule and law over them is a decree, your rule of law uh, over them, and they can't move because they're trapped in our corporate contract the highest corporate contract in the world, you're looking at it right here. You're looking at it right here. The creator of corporate law is right there. Britain and this King William IV. And that ends my little story for you. And I hope you're very happy about that. And so where was this? We've got some attachments on what, what are the Kororareka itinerary. Oh, that was just the itinerary that you can't see my name on there, that I was going to give a speech on the itinerary, but we don't have to. We don't have to look at it and poke fingers because he done a good job. He done a real good job, but my, my, my executive are not very happy about that, but we're just making it public that we were removing him from the executive and put him in a high position of admiralty. And the people in Russell that came there wanted to keep him because he wanted to resign because he failed the people. Um, and uh, so also he uh, disappointed our executive. But he's a good man. Really, in heart, he's a good man. But he done a real good job of the flag he did and took it up the hill. That's bravery in that alone, to go and poke it in front of this thug pirate government and trustees and everybody else that's milking that flag for themselves. So it's your flag, native people of New Zealand, and you can absorb all what I'm saying and read the book and read and watch the video and until um, you sink it in your, your brain cells and until you own it. And then you can tell them we're all going together to get your country back. And that's how we do it. And that's it, Andy. That's all we have to say about that. We can have a discussion now and let people ask me questions. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry for questions. Okay, then, John. So, oh. okay. so that's the end of the call, too. So it's the time now is 10.49. So that will be uh, 9.49, I take it, in New Zealand. And it's 30th of October. So that's the end of the hearing.